Hi, this is Kevin Grady with another Bible review for the Gospel According to Music. This is actually my fifth time trying to record this because I've had constant interruptions. So hopefully we can get through this one. Okay, here we are with Thomas Nelson's New King James Version of the classic verse-by-verse -verse center column reference Bible. Um, it is done in the comfort print. As you can see, it lays flat, which means it's a sewn binding. Uh, the words of Christ are in red, and it comes with two satin, on both sides, ribbon markers. This is the brown leather soft. It'll come in, pre in the uh, premier leather, as well as the leather soft. And, uh, you know, if you can go to uh, Thomas Nelson's website, or you can go to christianbooks.com, and they will list all the different variables that they've got, the different covers that are available but the information is still the same inside. This, of course, is the clamshell case that comes with the um, Bible. Let's take a look at it. Verse by verse, which of course is a wonderful way to do this. 72,000 references, the words of Christ in red, and it's the dark red, not the light red, which bugs my eyes if it's really bright red. Uh, concordance, it is doable, Smith, or Smythe sewn binding, uh, two satin ribbons, and the fonts, I love this, 10 point, yes, I can read it. Uh, the comfort print usually sometimes is smaller, like the open Bible, I think it was in an 8.5 or something like that. That was a little small for my eyes, uh, although I do like that Bible and love it, but this is perfect, absolutely perfect for my eyes. Uh, let's go ahead and take a close look. I'm going to give you the ISBN number. And as you can see, this goes for $59.99 and you can get it cheaper, um, you know, on many of the websites out there. Now, one of the things I want to show you about this particular, do you like that kind of look here? I kind of like where it's got the different shades of brown inside this brown. And then this is cool. This is cool. Get ready. This reminds me of old... Bible or old books that were done back like uh, the 1900s. Look at the way that is done. This spine is so cool. I love this with the gold uh, etching inside here on the spine. Just the artwork that is done on this gives it that old classic look to it. It's really cool. Of course, you can see it's sewn, double sewn here. Uh, this is a very nice cover. It'll probably loosen up more as you, you use it. It's got the Holy Bible stamped on the front here. And then inside, you've got a paper liner. And then as you turn it, you've got your main information here. Now, this has actually two colors. Uh, it has the black and it has the red. And the red, as you can see, they've done it in the table of contents uh, as well as the headings here. Uh, over here, you've got your copyright information printed in China. The paper has got kind of a light cream color, uh, and it's, it's very readable. As you can see right here, there is hardly any ghosting on here. There's a little bit, and the camera shows more than what you see with your natural eye, but this is very easy to read. The paper is very nice. I would say it probably on the low end of a maybe 30s. Not 100% sure they didn't say. Um, but as you can see, the red is that dark red. Thank you, Nelson, for doing that. For us old people, we sure do appreciate it. It just makes it much easier for us to read, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I know I'm strange, radioactive. Uh, so here we go into Genesis, and right there you've got the nice bold red, and then you've got a little introduction here. I love this little artwork here to separate the information. And then as you get right into it, there you go, the history of creation, and the numbers are red. So it's very easy to find. Over here, your center column, I'm going to zoom in on this. It's a little on the small side, but I can read it. And I'm 64, and if I can read it, then you guys can read it, especially you younger people. Now, that sounded like an old person, didn't it? You younger people. So anyway, as you can see, it's a very easy, easy read. Uh, very, um, 
easy on the eyes. The light cream color paper, I think, really adds to it. It's not some of this bright paper that you can get sometimes. Sometimes the white is so white, it kind of just glares off of you. This doesn't do that. I love it. I love how this is, I'm glad they didn't do lines. I prefer the white space. I don't like the lines down here. I love this way this is laid out. Whoever was one of the designing people on this, they did an awesome, awesome job. Uh, it's just a great, great layout. Uh, very easy on the eyes. This is going to wind up being one of my main Bibles that I use. I will actually carry this one to church. Let's go ahead and get over to... Um, I always like to check the Psalms and just kind of see how the layout is on this. Um, so we'll get right in here to the Psalms. And as you can see, very good layout. Lots of uh, space here when you need it. The way the formatting is done on the poetry part is very well done. I love the way it is. Uh, when they get into the introduction, they use the red. Oh, and let's take a look. Speaking of, of the, let's look at this. They have upgraded the ribbons. The ribbons used to be a little bit thinner. This is a little wider. They were used to be a little bit thinner, and it was only uh, satin on one side, but as you can see, it's satin on both sides. Very smooth, very nice. My ugly fingers. <laughs> And then, as you can see, it's really nice here on the red as well. It just shines. And, of course, they cut it in a diagonal. Very nice. Very well done. And, of course, we need to go ahead and head over to the New Testament and see how the red letter looks. So, here it is. We've got the... Uh, we're in Matthew. And right now we got mostly black letter, but now we're getting into the red letter where Jesus is teaching on the Beatitudes. Very, very nice. Can you see that? That nice dark red. I am not a red letter person. I, I've made that clear numerous times. I prefer black letter. But when it's done in a dark print, I love it. So way to go, Nelson. Did a great job on this. Looks very, very nice. Love the cross-reference. I had a professor at one of the uh, Christian universities near here where I live, and he told me, if you want the best study Bible, get one with great, great uh, cross-references. He said, just follow those cross-references, and you will learn everything you need to know from the Bible. Because the Bible always, always confirms what they're teaching. You can exhaust an entire subject just by going through these cross-references, and they, they are excellent. Highly recommend it. As you can see, still very, very nice, very easy to read. Go ahead and get into some of the letters. Here we go into Corinthians. I love the little book introductions, and again, I love this little artwork. And as you can see, it just flows. Let's go ahead and get into the concordance. I'll get to the very back here. There's Revelation. Notice I said Revelation and not Revelations. People say Revelations, but it's Revelation. The concordance, which I want you to look at this. This is how much pages are just the concordance. Can you see that? That's a lot of information. A lot of information. Easy to read. Not difficult to follow. I'm trying to get to the very, very back. I don't think it has maps. Of course, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. It does have maps. I'm going to have to switch hands because I'm getting... Numbness in my hand from holding this camera. Now we got the typical maps that usually come with the Nelson Bibles. Very nicely done. Got a little bit of gloss to it. And then it ends with the paper liner. 
it is stitched. It is, uh, you know, very well. This is not going to fall apart on you. This is a very well Bible, very well made. Um, can I see? I, I can't see the stitching here. Let me see if I can zoom in on a section here that will show it. Nope, that's not going to show it. They've done a very good job of hiding it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to zoom in. See those little indentations? That shows you that it's so. Excellent Bible. Love it, love it, love it. I think you would enjoy it. And if you're somebody who's a pastor who's been looking for maybe a verse-by-verse -verse or a Sunday school teacher or just for yourself, this is an excellent, excellent addition to your collection. I highly recommend it. It's got that old-style binding. Look at that. I love that. That looks like those classic books, you know, like Tom Sawyer and um, Huck Finn and all, all of those books, Tale with Two Cities. Tale with Two Cities? Tale of Two Cities. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm a professional in radio, as you can tell. But anyway, there you go. I think they did a great job. Very, very classic, very nice. So be sure to check out your copy. It's not an expensive Bible. It's very, very affordable. Uh, and if you want the uh, more expensive, the goat skin, the Premier is absolutely wonderful. The Premier, um, the Premier is like the goat skin is just unbelievably well done and uh, is just uh, highly, highly recommended. So check it out. There you go. The Thomas Nelson Classic Verse by Verse Center Column Reference Bible. And of course, this was sent to me for an honest review. And I was not paid for this. And uh, I'm just telling you exactly what I think. I think they did an excellent job. I love it. Dark red font and easy to read, easy fonts. And uh, I love that binding. I'm not, a, I, I kind of like the, the uh, leathers. But this, this is nice. I like that. So there you go. Check it out. And thanks again. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And of course, click the little bell so you'll be notified when I post a new one. Thanks and God bless. Oh, and be sure to check out the radio station, GAMradio.com.